So you're out on the uh, causeway, you've just finished up a nice sail or maybe kayaking and you think, geez, where's a good place to get a drink? Or maybe even get something to eat or even watch the sunset. And lo and behold, ta-da, what do we have here? I call it the Tiki Hut, but most people call it by its right name, the High and Dry Grill, which is out conveniently located on the causeway in Dunedin. So we're sitting at the beach and what could be better than, what is this? Sailor's Rum Punch. Oh, rum Punch and the beach, all in one place. Thank you, sir. We got the drink, Lynn. Yeah. And we're sitting here, I'm just stirring the punch just a little bit, make sure it's properly mixed up. Oh man, that's good. It, maybe it's just the atmosphere, but that's a good drink. That's a good drink. Lynn, tell, tell us about this place. The High and Dry Grill. Well, uh, I started in 1992 doing uh, the kayak and sailboat rentals out here on Dunedin Causeway and had a partner in the food business. And, uh, he retired several years ago, which put me back in food service. Speaking of food service, food we're being service. served. There we are. Montreal Chicken Wrap. Montreal Chicken Wrap. Yep. yep. And we're not even Canadians. Yep. <laughs> Best thing mind. on the menu. Well, not, <laughs> not this time of year. Not this time of year, that's right. <laughs> Go about 50% at a certain time of year. Uh, anyway, uh, Forced me back into the food service business, and we worked out of a concession trailer for many years. I remember that. And uh, renewal came up with the city, or actually was, had to go back out to bid to uh, determine who's going to have concession rights for the next few years. And if I bid, I included this deck and the tiki hut. And uh, it took me many years to figure out how to do that. But uh, the tiki hut is actually built by Native Americans. They have an exclusion in the state, in the state of Florida, huh. but they don't need a permit. Wow. You build without a permit? Yes. Let me write this down. <laughs> <laughs> and the deck is actually a dock. I have a dock builder build it because we're in a flood zone or velocity zone. So well, that's true. That's semi permanent true. is complicated. But, uh, the most interesting thing about the high and dry grill is the name. Uh, we're going to uh, apply for the liquor license and uh, get the corporation going. We needed a name. We wanted something nautical. But they didn't want something real cheesy where people would come up on the deck and try and talk like a pirate all the time. And we're running out of time. We need to get this done. We're, my wife and I are laughing one night because for 15 years there had been a uh, AA meeting that meets out here in the sand on Monday nights. And on the opposite side over by the bathrooms, there's a drum circle. <laughs> my wife says, well, at least we know the people in the causeway are high and dry. I'm like, that's our <laughs> There <name."> you go. <laughs> true story. I, I love it when you get the true story, I think. Wow. Well, but tell us about the food. We have Montreal. The Montreal chicken wrap. That is actually my wife's recipe, and we uh, oh. uh, fillet take, uh, chicken breast and fillet it, marinated in seasonings and marsala Ooh. for at least 12 hours, and it's cooked on a, on a uh, char broiler. Oh, it's char broiler. Yeah, yeah, it is char broiler. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. All the goodies in there: the bacon and tomato and lettuce. And all, just bacon good and stuff. tomato. It is a little gusty and windy out here today, a isn't it? Crazy today, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, this would be a good place to sail, wouldn't it? Excellent place to sail. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell. This, uh, well, this has always been the, the hot spot for multi halls in Pinellas County, and actually in all of uh, Pinellas and Hillsborough County. As far as I know, this is the only place you can launch a catamaran and sail out to the Gulf of Mexico without having to go underneath the bridge. Wow! Wow! Of all the waterfront property. This is it. This is. This yeah. is the place. Yeah. We've had, uh, twice we've hosted the uh, Olympic Tornado National Championships right here on Dunedin Causeway. Once the Hobie 16 Nationals. Some major events. Wow, wow. And, and right here. Yep. And you could also maybe rent a kayak here too? We do, we do kayak rentals. We do a lot of kayak rentals and paddle boards. Uh, Caledicia Island State Park is a big draw for us. A lot of people want to get out there and they don't want to take the ferry boat with the marina, they want a different adventure, and they can certainly find that with a kayak. Oh yeah, uh, you can see it from here. Yep, and uh, yeah, it's about a 15 to 20 minute paddle to the island on most days. Uh, the state also nicely uh, developed a kayak trail that goes through the mangrove forest. Yep. Paddle through the mangroves, it's very neat. Wow, so you can sail, you can kayak, you can paddle board, you can get something to eat and uh, something to drink, I might add, all at the same place. <laughs> yep. so, 
Tell us one more time, what's the name of this place? The High and Dry Grill. High and Dry Grill. Dunedin on the causeway, right? Dunedin Causeway, next to Sail Honeymoon. Next to Sail Honeymoon. Yeah. Conveniently located next to Sail Honeymoon. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's wave at the camera and say bye. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. Thanks for visiting us with Tasting the City.